Thank you. Okay, so firstly, uh, apologies to all of you because I think with me on the stage, your reach would have fallen to half, <laughs> right? So, um, I was just having a chat with each one of them uh, to understand uh, how their lives are and how they deal with uh, the vagaries of the business and how they're dealing with creating content and how, do, how they end up creating the entire content piece, right? So, before we get to the content side, Let's first start with what an ad maker looks at this entire piece and how, um, you know, uh, ad making has changed over the last three, four uh, years. Um, I think one of the first things that uh, any ad maker, f firstly, one big truth bomb that I want to put it out there. I don't think brands are doing it right when it comes to influencer marketing. So, death nail. Let's, let's start there. Well, <laughs> the second thing is um, when the agency comes to brands and says, let's look for an influencer who does ABC, listen to them. Because in the back end, what we have done is we figured out which voice works for the brand and which voice works for the product. Because what we do at our end is figure out whether the influencer fits in the category of, let's say, a lab rat, wherein, no offense meant, a lab rat, wherein they are trying stuff out. And the experience of, of them trying stuff out actually means something to the audience, or an expert who's tried stuff out and has an expert opinion on, on it, or an evangelist who's somewhere in the middle but is giving you a lifestyle sort of an uh, opinion about it. So we've done that due diligence. So listen to us before you want to make it an ad. So yeah. Thank you. So with that, I'll, let, I'll start with Viraj, right? Um, what is it like being an influencer? What are the insecurities that you face? How do you go about um, your uh, life? How has the recognition changed your life? It is just normal. <laughs> like, I think it's hyped very much. Like, our house is not in our our society, in our area. It's just normal that, yes, I'm doing something. Now, I'm making a video on the road, right? For example, if I make videos everywhere where I go. So, if I make videos on my locality area, they don't give a, they don't give a damn about it. They're like, yes, I'm doing something, let's do it. But the thing is, this, this responsibility, the society has given into us. We are living our life and the thing is, we started as a passion and still as passion for us. It's not that, oh, today we have to make a video, or 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 we have to make a video. Because the thing is, people have expectations on us. We feel it's a responsibility, but I've, as of now, I have still make, like, made it possible as say, it is my passion and I will continue it as a passion only. I don't want to take it stress on me, that I will have to make a tension, engagement, and relevant. It's not like that. Like for me, as of now, I don't know about you guys. But for me, it is the same thing and it will be the same thing. That's how people like it and that's how I've noticed that that's how audience connect to us because we are very natural, whatever we do on the internet, it is all our natural things. Like this is why also what you said sir, it is great because we have, we have built an audience for ourselves. Right. And when a brand comes to us giving their expertise or for our audience, I feel like that they don't know what they are talking they don't know only what, is, what, are, like, what they are talking, what you guys are talking to. Like there are jargons, there are logo laga do, or ye sam kar do. <laughs> ye sense hi nahi wanda because wo log log, jaise wo log kuch dekhte na, wo log tarah, hey, to ad bana diya, to aise bhi wo log TV pe dekhte, to ye kyu dekhe hum log? They come to us for their past times. They come to us ke time pass karna chalo, Instagram pe reel dekh lenge. To usme wo log ad dekhayenge, to wo log lagta hai ke aray, to ad hi bana raha tha, fir kyu dekhe? To they go to some other creator. That's what I feel. It's a very important point that you touched upon as uh, the difference between an ad yeah. and an influencer post, right? So I'm sure that each one of you would have had different experiences and you, each one of you would have had your own learning curve in terms of how do you handle those uh, issues. Simon, I'll come to you and ask, uh, how do you deal with something like this? Because the space in which you operate in, uh, there's a whole lot of expectation when it, when it comes to brands. Uh, you know, giving you, a, give, using you for a certain uh, pattern in terms of how they would want the post to be. Right. Um, good afternoon, everyone. So, you know, uh, like we were discussing outside, I feel like 
I am so tired of explaining this time and time again to brands and agencies that do you want me, as we discussed, to be your model? Or do you want me to be the creator that I am and create content for my followers? First, decide that. If you want me to just be a model and you want to boost this ad on YouTube and you don't care about what kind of engagement I'm going to give you, cool. Give me this hardcore script with wear these clothes, sneeze like this, breathe like this, okay. But when you want to reach my audience and want my engagement, then you have to let me do it my way. No one knows my audience like I do. Or for everyone sitting here, no one, I mean, we know our audience best. So if you're working with a creator, learn how to trust the creator, or then decide that this is an ad, we don't care about the engagement, we want to boost this, it's different. And then later, don't come to us crying about why our engagement is so low. Because it's going to be, it's not going to do well. Right. And that's the truth. So Thanks. yeah. Shlok, I'll come to you, because you handle an entirely different category, right? And... Uh, And for the category that you handle, uh, obviously the vagaries are different, expectations are different. So how do you deal with something like this? I deal with it quite simply. Um, I think um, I don't look at uh, the brands and the influencers that we sit in different boats. I see that there is no versus influencers versus brands as a type um, or influencers versus audience. I think um, jo brand bhi hai, essentially what he's trying to do is um, uh, serve the audience. Uh, they are trying to do it in different ways. They are trying to make product, kar rahe, wo service, kar rahe. but at the end, they want to make the audience. And if there is such a brand, I feel like we don't want to make our alignment or we don't want to make the audience, then we don't want to work with them, very simply. But as a creator, what we try to do is we try to serve the audience best. And when we are serving, we can include a brand and increase that value. So, for example, I have a few examples of my ends. There is a lot of times when we make sponsored videos and people look forward to sponsored videos. People think about sponsored videos and I don't know, I have noticed this with very few people. So, let's take something for example, we make a video about how smartphones are manufactured in a factory. That audience will never see it from itself. And if it will be made by its own, it will not be a good performance. So when we execute that concept, the audience will be very fun. And the brand is good to promote the product. And at the end, the brand is also good to us. Our brand is also good to us. Because we serve the audience and the audience is also good to us. So I think I try to see the triangle dynamic where we can serve the audience better because of the brand. Sometimes, if you give away multiple phones or give away opportunities in the US, we have made a vlog on the camera or before the launch, we have taught smartphones. Or sometimes, there are e-commerce platforms on deals. So, we tell all the deals in one week. So, it is the benefit that the audience gets the value. And I think, what I try to do and uh, what as a brand we try to do is hum samajne ki koshish karte hain where the brand is coming from. Because we have been on the other side as well. We have products create and we have done some influencer marketing. Hai. And uh, we realize ki I think that understanding jab match ho jati hai, right. uh, then we uh, create hota product. And at the end, mere se, when you are working with influencers, it's not just like you said. It's not like working with models. It's as I ki um, it has to be a collaborative effort. Ki jo, uh, because at the end, the brand and the influencer are working together. So I feel when it is a collaboration between the influencer and the brand, and they both understand that how an influencer is working, how a brand is working, and I think the mediator is also an uh, uh, important uh, role. Rata hai. But I think that works really well. And uh, that's what we try to do at the end. I just see us and the brands in the same boat or our audience ko, uh, serve kar to That it, has worked amazingly well. Yeah, it's a very interesting uh, take. It's an interesting perspective that you bring about. I think, thank you for that. Snail, so a lot of people who are in this room today, right, um, would also like to understand because a whole lot of us sitting on the other side 
are sitting on the side where you were before, right? You were on the corporate side and then you became an influencer, right? How has life changed for you and what does it take for, say, some of us to cross this side? Well, if I can, anybody can. Uh, that's what I would uh, like to say. Or uh, uh, corporate side may I zaruthi, lekin meri kush kismati hai ki I'm in um, media and entertainment. So inherently ek uh, aapko uh, outlet milta hai apni creativity ko express karne ka. To jab wo uh, meri team walo ne hi kaha ki aap influencer kyun nahi ban jate ho, aap kyun nahi ek video banate ho, try karo, try karo. I thought it is a it is a dream, you know, pipe dream ki ye kya hai, meri se kya, you know, I'm I was 36 at that time, mother of a child, nokri samhalni hai, ghar samhalna hai, uske beech mein mein ek video bhi bana dalu, what are you talking about? But then, um, the way it was received, and within like six months, I had only 15,000 followers, but they were my people. They were there to watch ki ye aunty kya kar rahi hai. Mainne ek persona pakda, BC aunty ka, aur usi pe mein lage hui thi. Till the pandemic hit and that one teacher video went viral, tab jaake influencer shabd jo hai, wo mere saath jud gaya. Usse pehle I was just doing it for fun. Aur shayad achhi baat ye thi ki maze ke liye aap karte ho koi bhi cheez, to wo bhot organic hoti hai. Aap authentic rehte ho, log haste bhi hai aur wo snackable content hota hai. Ki acha aaye do minute dekhe, move on karke. Par wo jab brand association honne lagta hai na, to bada pressure aata hai. Ek to likhna us cheez ko. I don't put too much mind to it. कोई idea आया तो लिख लिया और फिर उसको बना लिया। पर अभी brand को incorporate करते हुए एक idea लिखना, फिर ensure करना कि यार ये point भी बोलना है, ये point भी बोलना है, और ये फायदा भी बताना है, ये नुकसान नहीं mention करना है, तो बड़ा taxing हो जाता है। तो मैं तो procrastination करती हूँ आखरी minute तक agencies को तंग करती हूँ कि आ भी नहीं आया idea, भी नहीं आया idea। फिर ultimately करते हैं, फ but I think that this brand association with influencers is a unique revenue model. Earlier when I was doing this for fun, people are watching and saying, hey, I like you. I was still waking up at 7 o'clock, going to 9 o'clock shift, then shooting the entire day, then coming back, and then making a video and making a video. So this is a good revenue model. So, with brands, we have a lot of benefit from the brands, and I think all of you agree, that it will come from the money. So, that's why we have more effort. And my limitation is that I am a certain age group, and my persona is different, which I promote. So, my brands are limited. And when the brands are limited, it will also come from the money, and 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 it will also come. Right. So that's how I think. Awesome. So there are uh, two, I, should I say, ancillary questions to it. One is that there is also this entire thing about shelf life of an influencer. There are influencers coming up every single day. There are new bunch of people creating new content, getting in, you know a lot of followers and stuff like that. Arushi, we'll start with you and then go to Nishant. How do you handle this entire thing about uh, the insecurity of being an influencer and the fact that there's so many people coming in and stuff like that. Um, I believe one thing in life ki jo aapka hai na, wo aapke paas hi rehta hai, to be honest. And uh, I mean, uh, at the first place, I never wanted to be an influencer, to be honest. I made a reality show and I got followers mile and I ended up being in this side. This side. And Obviously, Instagram, the algorithm of Instagram, you can't handle it. You really don't have to worry about how many people are coming. Just put in your efforts and do what you like doing. Because I have been in that cycle where I was doing what I like doing. What do you like doing? What do you like doing? I have been in that cycle where I was thinking what is not working for me. You know, constant thought and I was discussing with them as well that this was literally my therapy topic. Where I was discussing with my therapist and I mean, it, it had got to me to the, this extent. But now what I feel and what I do is that I just put up what I want to put up. Ab, jinko relate karega, wo karega. Ab main kisi ko zabadasti relate karne ke liye nahi bol sakti. So that's how I take it. Like, I, I don't really care about kitne baaki influencers aare hain. Kyunki it, it is, 
out there with everyone. Everyone has a phone and everyone can become an influencer, sub creative and so you can't really like think about ki, right. you know, kaise chalega aur log aa rahe hai. Yes, I have sir. a point of view on this, uh, right. uh, this panic conversation uh, about influencers sort of losing their following as they're growing older. I feel like that comes in only when you're thinking of influencers as a means to sell. But I don't think any, uh, of course it, it gives people revenue, but then I don't think anyone who's an authentic influencer looks as, at themselves as someone who will sell. So as they are growing older, their audience is growing older, their audience is also uh, you know, creating different life experiences. So there's loyalty, there's faith when it comes to that. Right. If there is a brand that has run out of the influencer's ambit, there's a new brand that will come in and which will make place for that. I mean, there, there, there is stuff that, as advertisers, we sell to 80 years old, 80 year olds and 100 year olds. So I don't think there will be a time where you as an influencer will be out of running unless you're thinking yourse of yourself only as a channel to sell. Right. Can I add yeah, yeah, something? Sure. I, I take it as, uh, bhi bhot log bolte are, itne influencers are hai, what are you doing, what are you doing, up your game. So, um, up your game is very challenging. It can't be done. It doesn't come to me. I can't start doing things which others are doing. Nishant, coming to you. So the thing is that uh, when there is so many influencers coming, obviously there is, when we sit on the brand side, right? So there's this thing saying constantly that um, uh, there's too much price that an influencer is quoting. Can you do something about it? Can you reduce the cost? Can you do it? But I also know that there is all, there's the other side of the story, right? So why don't you share your side of the story in terms of what happens when you actually say that this is a point below which I, I won't do this thing. So if, if a brand is saying that we have so much budget and we can't go to this side, then we also tell you that we will tell you two things about it. We will not tell you the whole four. So either do this or give the whole money. And thank you. <laughs> I told you so much, I was like, how did I feel? Because I do the corporate shows, where people call me off-site, and in the morning, I show PowerPoint, and in the morning, we sit on the stage, and everyone is like, and everyone is like, and everyone is like, and everyone is like, a little bit, chill. And the other thing, I didn't know, I was doing stand-up comedy, so we just have to sell tickets for tickets, we don't have to sell tickets from Instagram, we don't have to sell tickets from YouTube, we don't have to sell tickets from Facebook, so we don't have to sell tickets from that. I don't know if someone said that you have to sell TV, but okay. Then someone said that you have to sell web series, but okay. Then someone said that you have to listen to people from here. So we know that I am also an influencer. I am also a content creator. I was doing comedy with that. So it was slowly, 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 that you have to pay from here. So now I look at every deal as, okay. This will get out of the house. This will get out of the house. So that's it. And if it's the product or the brand is such that you like it from inside, then you will adjust a little bit. The person who is talking to the person, the person who is calling is important. The brand or anything, the person who is calling from there, how is the behavior of the person? The main thing is the main thing. If the person who is talking to the person, the person who is talking to the person, then he will say, okay, man. In the behavior, it's like, I'm doing so much for you. Let's know about the market, somewhere else. For you. So, it's so much, it's so much. <laughs> I think when you really want to work with a particular brand, you will right. do whatever you want to do, with to, you know, to be associated with, to, with the brand. Because you feel like this brand will come and talk about Then we lower our cost. Right. But we know that this is... And what do you mean? I have this thing that... Here are all the brands and agencies, right? So I want to tell you that if you are the one who is the one who is the one who is the one. कि कल है आज चाहिए दें दा रेट फिर को मतलब एक करोड़ रुपया दें दे से फिर वो लोग फीडबैक में और कल रक्षा मंत्री ना फीडबैक परसों देंगे बोले वी आर ऑलरेडी अबाउट टाइमलाइंस एंड ये सब ये सब तो मेरा गलती थोड़ी था यू कम टू अस सेवेन डेज अगो यू कम टू अस लाइक एक महीने पहले तो हम लोग क्या प्रॉपरली फीडबैक करेंगे बैठ 
बना लो वीडियो जो करना कर लो कभी क्या तो कैप्शन में डाल दो या तो स्टोरी पे डाल दो ऐसा बोलोगे कि अरे जोमेटो आ गया बस खत्म एंड दिस इज व्हाट वी लाइक कि किसी को समझा ही नहीं बिकॉज आर ऑडियंस झट से पकड़ लेते हो लोग ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं बन देख रहे ना वो लोग कब से देख रहे सब लोग को देख रहे राइट सो दे नो कि ऐड है ये नहीं और ऊपर से आजकल वो एस की गाइडलाइंस भी है कि पेड पार्टनरशिप तो सीधा स्क्रॉल करना पड़ता है वो लोग को ये तो ब्रांड ये ऐड ही रहेगा कुछ नहीं आफ्टर पॉइंट बोलेगा अरे ये ले लो वाओ ये तो कि ना यू हैव टू मेक इट कमेंट सेक्शन में एक कमेंट होगा भाई कितना मिला इसका एटलीस्ट सो आई फील व्हेन एवर आई मेक कंटेंट इट इट ऑलवेज हैज टू बी के अगर ये ब्रांड नहीं आता तो भी क्या मैं वीडियो रिलीज करता कि नहीं करता इफ मगर आंसर होता है कि हां मैं कर लेता देन आई पुट द ब्रांड इनसाइड एल्स आई से कि नहीं होगा या तो फिर पैसे बढ़ा दो अगर जनरली चेक किया अगर ये है और ये डालना है स्क्रिप्ट भी वही देंगे ऑडियंस भी वही डिसाइड करेंगे टाइमलाइन भी वही देंगे तो फिर मैं अपने हिसाब से रेट दे देता हूं ये रेट होगा बिकॉज़ इसमें मेरा तो कोई कंट्रोल ही नहीं है बिकॉज़ माय आई आई केटर टू गुजराती मेनली राइट और वो लोग बहुत स्मार्ट हैं इन जनरल वो लोग कह रहे हैं यार हां मेरा भाई पैसा बढ़ गया ना मजा आएगा ना ऐसा करके मतलब तो फिर दे दे स्क्रॉल अवे एंड आई टेल यू इंस्टाग्राम पे रिटेंशन रेट इज अ सेकंड इफ यू कांट इंटरेक्ट विद योर ऑडियंस इन अ सेकंड नो दे स्क्रॉल यू अवे बिकॉज़ देयर आर सो मेनी इन्फ्लुएंसर्स दे बोले कि यार टैग बन रहा है ना उसका देख लूंगा तो मेरा तो पैसा गया ना Right. <laughs> <laughs> I've genuinely started asking clients this piece that you are asking us to make. Would you watch it if you weren't forced? Would you watch it as a consumer? Yeah. Would you watch it? Hundred percent of the times they are zipped because they think that an ad is equal to an influencer's content, and that's one of the biggest. policies out there and that's mera ye bhi hai ki you directly i like whenever there's a brand i directly talk to the brand sometime because kya hota hai ki ek brand agency hire karta hai agency se aata hai to fir wo log na miscommunication ho jata hai ke are chahiye fir kabhi kabhi agencies hype kar lete hai are brand ko pasand hi nahi aayega par tumne bheja hi nahi hai without telling the brand they have made this uh, misconception ke are brand is this ha but brand is very chill so i also feel that there should be a good communication gap no yaar acha bhi hona chahiye ki ha ye क्या बोलते क्लियर होना चाहिए कम्युनिकेशन राइट सॉरी अगर बुरा लगा तो मेरा अंदर का वो क्या जाने दो नो नो दैट्स द आईडिया आई थिंक दैट्स द आईडिया ओके सो द अदर थिंग इज दैट वी डिस्कस दिस दिस थिंग इज देयर अ लाइन वेयर यू व्हिच व्हिच यू ड्रॉ एंड से कि दीस आर द थिंग्स दैट आई वुड नॉट डू आर देयर एनी गाइडलाइंस दैट यू लेड फॉर योरसेल्फ और एनी ब्रांड्स और कैटेगरीज आई विल नॉट से ब्रांड सॉरी दैट्स अ रॉन्ग वर्ड टू यूज हियर no is there any categories that you would say i would not like to do this or beyond this it's going to affect my genuine followers so i wouldn't want to broach on this ha maine zyada tar to brand ko mana kiya nahi kyunki paisa ha par 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 abhi jaise ek example deta hu main ki main 14 mahine pehle vegetarian ho gaya tha par usse pehle mere food food vlogs hai jisme mutton mutton char mast dekhta hu पर अभी मेरे पास फिर एक नॉनवेज उसके लिए ब्रांडी लाया था right. said, अभी तो मैं जैसे दिखने में मतलब मैं सबको बता रहा हूँ कि आई एम लाइक पब्लिकली वेजिटेरियन हाउ कैन आई सेल चिकन अभी थोड़ा तो सो दैट्स व्हाट आई सर कि ये अभी नहीं सो दैट्स दी ओनली पॉइंट वरना तो द थिंग्स व्हिच आई डोंट पर्सनली यूज सो आई डोंट वांट कि ये लोग भी इसको मैं क्यों प्रमोट करूं बिकॉज़ लाइक वी बिल्ड अ कम्युनिटी वी बिल्ड आवर ओन नीश वी इट्स लाइक वी आर लाइक अ फैमिली मेंबर टू देम नाउ वी दे वॉचेस अस दे एवरी डे इन देयर लाइफ like it starts from our stories and videos and it ends also on our stories and videos so whenever they come to know ki ye to possible nahi virat bechega so wo i try to avoid this because i it doesn't fall into my like right now i'm into spree of gaining my weight <laughs> randomly so <laughs> i'll promote food brands <laughs> but sometimes if i'm not i'm like if i would say ki abhi aaj se workout hi karna hai so i'll won't promote ki tum pizza khao main to workout kar raha hu right wo main nahi karta arushi what about you so uh, there are certain brands as in like kuch time pehle mujhe cigarettes ka aaya tha i said no to them because i personally don't smoke and i would not want to promote smoking and uh, main na uh, himachal ke ek bahut chote se shehar solan se hu to wahan par uh, i have looked at at certain people you know like 
उस टाइम इंस्टाग्राम इतना नहीं होता था बट यूट्यूब या सेलिब्रिटीज तो जो हम छोटे शहर के लोग होते हैं ना वी रियली लुक अप टू सर्टन पीपल सो आई बी वेरी कॉन्शियस ऑफ कि कोई मैं कुछ ऐसा ना डाल दूँ जो गलत इन्फ्लुएंस करते अब सही गलत सबका अपना अपना डिपेंड करता है बट जो मुझे गलत लगता है आई पर्सनली डोंट पुट इट अप दैट्स द फाइन लाइन फोन एंड ऑब्वियसली मनी यू पे मी लेस आई वोट डू इट सो यू आर टॉकिंग समथिंग इंटरेस्टिंग because as a mom influencer there's a whole lot of demand that you you that you would probably get and both of you actually right uh, of getting your uh, you know getting your family also inside so does that bother you is there a point where you say okay only these categories or these kind of products that i would like my uh, children or my immediate family members also to be coming in so you know what when i started i was also a very new mother my son was 5 days old um in fact it is postpartum depression that actually i was a full time fashion designer running a very successful label selling globally and then my son was born and you know my dog passed away in the same week and there was just trauma in my brain and my easiest way to kind of um vent was through this platform called instagram and i just started like literally sharing my deepest darkest thoughts and i started getting an audience who started resonating with it and saying i felt this too i did this too i did that. so that's how it started now um will i still talk about random products when it comes to me which i may or may not use yes the truth is yes with the hashtag ad but when it comes to my kids i never till date have worked with a single brand in the food space or the skin care space for children that i have not tried and tested on my children first because that is a moral responsibility i am super mindful about the food my kids eat uh, about what goes on their skin so i feel like it's just going to be really bad karma to tell people to use something that i'm not using on my kids so that's where i draw the line and of course money um if you're not going to pay me and if you don't know my worth then peace <laughs> my son has uh, rarely featured on my instagram page uh, the teacher video that i made the good morning miss the cute voice was his to wo teacher videos mein uska background mein awaaz mujhe chahiye tha to uske liye bribing karke because he is 11 years old so he is not a baby to wo free mein kuch nahi karta hai abhi to utne bhar ke liye mujhe matlab i have to become the agency and i have to convince him kar lo yaar ek bar khel le kar lo to to wo bada clear hai I just have to add to that. I am now speaking on behalf of every single creator who is a parent. Our children are not trained monkeys who are going to cough according to your script and sneeze according to your script. It's not possible. So whenever you are coming with a baby product and you want to incorporate our children in it, our children deserve their fair share of pay too, which luckily brands now pay us. Thank God for that. And most importantly. you have to understand that please only allow somebody who's a parent from your team to converse with us because when a 23 year old boy tells me that what is this yaar ye reshoot karna padega isne aise kiya bas i'm like bro first go hang out with a 3 year old child then come to me and tell me and then you'll at least understand what a 3 year old is capable of because they want 3 year olds to give dialogues and i'm like it's not happening so we have to keep it real and uh, treat children the way children are meant to be treated Right. Also, every kid is different. Uh, like I am an outgoing personality. I can make friends easily. My son is shy. He doesn't want to oh. say lines on the camera. So, if there is a child product that you want me to perform in it, then might as well get an actor. Because no, our child is not like that. Right. So, Shlok, I, you've been very calm. So, just let, let me start with you. 
so there is India, there is Bharat. So you, you're, you're talking about how do you reach the tier three, tier four cities? Do you use different platforms? Is there a strategy that you have saying Instagram is for certain certain kind of audience, whereas other platforms is for the other kind of audience? Or how do you create the content? How do you disseminate the content in different platforms? I think India is a very interesting market, and it is a very powerful market. Mere sab se, kyunki, um, जो अपॉर्चुनिटी है अभी जैसे मैं रिसेंटली आते टाइम भी अभी एक आर्टिकल पढ़ रहा था कि इंडिया इज राइट नाउ द सबसे बड़ी स्मार्ट वॉच की मार्केट इन द वर्ल्ड एंड इवन टेक्नोलॉजी में हर चीज़ में बिकॉज द स्केल इतना ज़्यादा है तो उसमें आई कैन कंटेंट स्पेस में आई कैन वॉट आई हैव फेल्ट आई कैन शेयर लिटल बिट ऑफ इनसाइट कि हर प्लेटफॉर्म का आई फील डिफरेंट कॉन्टेक्सट होता है एंड आई फील इंस्टाग्राम पे एक डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ ऑडियंस है एंड अलग अलग प्लेटफॉर्म पर भी अलग अलग फीचर पर अलग अलग ऑडियंसेज रहती हैं जैसे जो जैसे नई ऑडियंस आ रही है लेट्स काफ़ी इंडिया में सास बहू जो देखते थे न्यूज़ देखते थे वो जब सोशल मीडिया पर आ रहे हैं तो सबसे फर्स्ट देयर स्टेप इज यूट्यूब शॉर्ट्स वो सबसे पहले वो कंज्यूम कर रहे हैं तो अगर आप मेजॉरिटी यूट्यूब शॉर्ट्स वाला प्लेटफॉर्म देखो तो उस पर काफ़ी डिफरेंट ऑडियंस है तो आई थिंक वो कॉन्टेक्सट के हिसाब से अलग अलग प्लेटफॉर्म पे अलग अलग फीचर पे अलग अलग चीज़ें बिल्ड करनी पड़ती हैं एंड आई थिंक इट इज़ वेरी सिमिलर जैसे हम आ, आ, कभी कभार ऐसा लगता है कि हम ना एक्टिंग कर रहे हैं अलग अलग प्लेटफॉर्म पर अलग अलग जैसे रोल प्ले कर रहे हैं इंस्टाग्राम पर अलग बंदे बन गए यूट्यूब पर अलग स्टाइल में बना रहे हैं काफ़ी सारे इन्फ्लुंस होते हैं यूट्यूब पर वो मतलब स्केच वेच टाइप बना रहे हैं हंसी मजाक करके फटी टी शर्ट में बट इंस्टाग्राम पे वो कोट पैंट पहन के एकदम प्रोफेशनल हो जाते हैं तो आई बिलीव इट इज़ लाइक टॉकिंग टू डिफरेंट पीपल अगर आप एक बच्चे से बात कर रहे हैं तो आई थिंक आप बहुत प्यार से खिलौनों के साथ उसको बहुत प्रोएक्टिवली बात करेंगे बट अगर एक बुजुर्ग से बात कर रहे हैं तो आपका स्टाइल काफ़ी डिफरेंट हो जाएगा आप काफ़ी स्लोली काफ़ी स्टडीली बात करेंगे आई थिंक इट इज़ वेरी सिमिलर वो प्लेटफॉर्म के साथ भी और उन फीचर्स के साथ भी एंड आई थिंक जो सबसे ज़्यादा सक्सेसफुल इंडिया में कंटेंट क्रिएटर्स हैं वो समझते हैं कि इंडिया और भारत का वो डिफरेंस समझते हैं वो समझते हैं कि इंडिया में जो कंटेंट है अगर उसको आपको स्केल करना है 20 30 मिलियन 40 मिलियन व्यूज़ पे तो यू कॉन्ट स्पीक एक सिंगल लैंग्वेज आपको अपनी लैंग्वेज ऑप्टिमाइज करनी पड़ती है एक एग्जाम्पल अगर मैं एक दो एग्जाम्पल्स अगर मैं शेयर करूँ आई थिंक एग्जाम्पल से काफ़ी हेल्प होती है Um, uh, मैंने सलमान खान जी का इंटरव्यू देखा था आई थिंक जब वो अपना करियर स्टार्ट कर रहे थे ही वॉज स्पीकिंग वेरी फ्लूड इंग्लिश मतलब उतनी अच्छी इंग्लिश मैंने आई थिंक किसी को बोलते नहीं देखा इंडिया में uh, मतलब बहुत कम एक्टर्स को वो बोलते देखा मैंने इंडिया में एंड नाउ यू सी हिम ही नेवर स्पीक्स एनी मतलब कभी इंग्लिश में एक वर्ड भी नहीं बोलते एंड आई और इफ यू इफ आई हैव अंडरस्ट ट्राई टू थोड़ा सा कंटेंट मैंने ऐसा ब्रेक डाउन करने की कोशिश करी इवन आई टॉक टू भुवन एंड आई हैव वॉच अ लॉट ऑफ इज कंटेंट हम जैसे अपने स्कूल में uh, हमारे जो टीचर्स होते थे हम उनको सर या मैम कह के बुलाते थे बट uh, भुवन की जो uh, सबसे ज़्यादा वॉच सीरीज़ है ही कॉल्स उसमें अपने सर को मास्टर जी एंग्री मास्टर जी वो सीरीज़ है एंड आई थिंक मास्टर जी वो इसलिए वर्ड है क्योंकि इंडिया में अ मेजोरिटी पार्ट मतलब दिल्ली मुंबई वाली ऑडियंस वेरी छोटी सी हमको लगता है कि हम right. दिल्ली मुंबई में बैठे हैं मेजर सिटीज़ में बैठे हैं बट इट इज़ वेरी स्मॉल पार्ट ऑफ द ऑडियंस मेजॉरिटी इज टीयर थ्री टीयर टीयर टू ऑडियंस तो आई थिंक जो बड़े क्रिएटर्स होते हैं जितने मैं बात करता हूँ दे क्रिएट फॉर टीयर थ्री टीयर फोर एंड दे ऑप्टिमाइज इट फॉर टीयर वन एंड टीयर टू एंड जो कल्ट और थोड़े जेंजी आई थिंक काफ़ी सारे क्रिएटर्स हैं दे फील कि लाइक उनकी रियलिटी इज दिस रूम ओनली और मेरे साथ भी ऐसा सेम हुआ था जब मैं चेन्नई में था uh, आसपास जितने लोग थे सब इंग्लिश में बोलते थे तो right. मैं इंग्लिश में वीडियो बनाने लगा था बट वैन आई ट्रैवल्ड थोड़ा सा डेली वेली मुंबई घूमा मैं इधर उधर देखा मैंने चीज़ें आई रियलाइज कि इंडिया इज़ वेरी डिफरेंट काफ़ी कल्चरल डाइवर्सिटी है तो आई थिंक इंडिया को समझना इज अ बड़ा टास्क और इसीलिए बाहर के जितने ब्रांड्स होते हैं यूएस यूएस के ब्रांड्स जब इंडिया में आते हैं आधे से ज़्यादा फेल हो जाते हैं और इंडियन ब्रांड्स को भी सारी चीज़ों को स्टडी करने में बहुत टाइम लगता है बट आई थिंक वो कल्चर और वो के में ही बहुत नेक्स्ट लेवल पावर है और वो एक चैलेंज है तो वो चैलेंज जो अच्छे से ले लेता है जो उसको फिगर आउट कर लेता है वो नेक्स्ट लेवल चीज़ें कर भी लेता है तो दैट हैज़ बीन वॉट आई अंडरस्टैंड आई थिंक दैट हैज़
So I think this we'll have time for one last question, right? And then I'd want each one of you in no specific order, of course, to uh, react to this as to what do you think would be the future of this, say, two years from now, beyond this two? So we can start, anybody can start and we'll go in from there. Sir, as a apna to main kam stand up comedy ka hai, hai na? Ye to secondary hai. <laughs> to apna itna stress lete nahi hai. <laughs> Ki chala chala to badiya vethe expect nahi kiya tha, hai na? <laughs> Jahan se aaye hai, wahan se to bahut aage aage hai. To kafi khush hai. To itna stress mai to leta nahi hoon na relevancy ka uska. Hamar to hai ki ticket show chalte rahe, wo tarah hai. Baki sab side mein jo aara hai, sab bonus hi hai ye. Sab to wo wala jo aata na, jo extra ho to bitcoin lelo, wo wala saara paisa ye to. So... Yeah, I think the same for me. I think it, I think I'm in this thing since seven years now that I was a part of filter copy and then I moved to my own thing and like if we come here, then we will go here But good part is that uh, this is the integration. I made a Instagram video on YouTube and I made a movie. So now I have a movie coming. Uh, it's called, it's called Govinda Naam Mera. It's called Vicky Kaushal and like, Bhumi and Kiara. So, uh, whatever comes, I take it. SNE, and whenever yeah. there's a new platform, we enjoy that platform, we learn that platform because there are a lot of people who are talking about TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. But it's a very big platform. As, as, you, as you said, Tier 2, Tier 3, TikTok is very big. So, you don't have to be as a TikTok. We did everything because that's how audience is. And as uh, Shlok said, that every audience is different. So, TikTok is not going to be able to do it. And as you said, TikTok is not going to be able to do it. TikTok is not going to be able to do it. Huge, because in India, no. We like binging on cringe content. And then we jokes on it, what did you see? It's a bad content. But there are good things too. On YouTube, there's cringe content. But there's no one who sees it. But there's no one who sees it. So we diverse our audience and we diverse our things and we create content accordingly. That's what he said, which is true. Cringe content, there's a lot of people in the shop, just saying. Yeah, so... closing words from you in terms of how do you look at this for the next yeah. two years so, from... Uh, have you guys seen, uh, watched the movie Incredibles, um, Pixar? There's this really interesting line that the villain says. The villain sort of wants everyone to be a superhero because when everyone's a superhero, no one is. The positive side of it is what's happening with the democratization of the platforms is everyone has the platform. I feel like, not in the near future, but in the, in the distant future, the idea of the influencer will morph. And um, there will be so many influencers that there won't be an influencer anymore. What that will turn into is a creator model. Right. So ads will stop working, and what, what works as ads today will, will become creator content tomorrow. And that's the stuff that, I, I, and this is again a very, very um, subjective point of view. I see, I foresee that happening to brands tomorrow. The, the, uh, and, and I make this uh, analogy very often where I say, 
what we are doing today in terms of marketing ads, that's um, an elevator pitch versus what creator economies and creator marketing and, and content marketing and influencer marketing, what that does is like a really good date because you're pulling the person in and you're inviting them for an experience. That's where everything will move to. That's my POV. I, awesome. I'll also add uh, a little bit of my opinion. I feel that um, some influencers um, would become brands. Some influencers would create their own products, uh, their services build their services, and some have also done that. We have done it, and it has been very, very successful because free distribution is done. And it would create billion dollar brands in a matter of six months or something. Uh, because the top influencers can do that right now. And I have seen people do it. I've talked to people who have done it. Right. Um, and a lot of brands would become creators. They would come into the content space and they would figure out how content is and they would become creators themselves. And um, I think in this beach mein ek cheez aur hogi ki, um, I think the collaboration hai, in dono ke beech ka, ye jo partnerships hai, ye kafi zada, uh, strong hone wali hai. To, uh, that is one thing jo ko lagta hai ki zada strongly uh, hogi. Awesome. There's so much more to talk, but unfortunately we are uh, overrun already by about five minutes. So if anyone has any questions, they can send it and they directly to those power-packed yes. influences. Thank you so much. Thank you. I think we're done. <laughs>